Nestled along the shores of Lake Bemidji, it's one of Minnesota's top tourist destinations. But Bemidji has been battling a mini crime wave in one small area of town in and around Ridgeway Apartments, where iNews has reported on numerous shootings, stabbings, assaults, and more. Bemidji Mayor George Prince says they've been working on the problem and federal dollars may soon be used to fund more law enforcement and programs to confront the ongoing problems around Ridgeway. Well, I, I would tell you that, you know, we are obviously aware of some of the incidents that have been happening in the Ridgeway apartment neighborhood. Uh, some of them have been pretty serious, and we're certainly aware of that, not just as a city council, but as a city staff and, and also as, um, you know, our police department. Um, some of what's happening in that area is definitely complicated because obviously um, you have a certain group of people that, are pretty active in some of the incidents that are happening, and that certainly isn't every resident that's living in that neighborhood. There are a good number of good people there that are just trying to live their lives and you know go about their business day to day. So when you're looking at possible solutions over there, you know that's part of trying to think this through is is trying not to have collateral damage, but at the same time you want a safe and secure neighborhood. So we're thinking through that, doing some things, um, you know both as a, as a city and through the police department. We're also partnering with different groups that want to do good community work in there, like the Rotary. I don't know if you're kind of aware of the program they're doing in there to try to create some more community amongst the residents. So we've been trying to be supportive of, of efforts like that as well. Okay. All right. Um, you know, uh, lots of people have lots of different suggestions from everything to tear it down to whatever, having police around there full time. But, uh, again, as you said, this isn't a public property. Hmm. Correct. And, you know, obviously we have standards for landlords in our entire city that we expect, um, you know, landlords to abide by. And we want landlords to have a safe property as well. So, you know, obviously there are things that uh, we're looking at and considering and exploring as it relates to that and other properties as well. Um, so really, you know, to combat some of this, you really need a partnership that's going to exist between the landlords, the city, the police, and the community uh, to be effective. Okay. Um, I don't know. Anything else you want to say about it uh, beyond, I mean, you guys are aware of it and taking a look at what should be done? Yeah, I mean, I think the other thing I would say is, you know, a while back, um, you know, the city of Bemidji was awarded $1.63 million in American Rescue Plan funding or ARP funding. And so there are a number of things that those dollars can be used for, but one of those uses is to increase law enforcement uh, and to create um, public programs to combat um, serious crime and gun violence. So uh, we recently had a work session to talk through how we might deploy those funds, and that is one of the ideas I put forth is, you know, because we know we're having some issues in this particular neighborhood to potentially look at using some of those funds to create a law enforcement pilot project to target some things. So um, that is something else that's been um, under discussion. Okay. All right. Thanks for talking to me. You bet. Okay. Take care.